With a click, I can make you disappear or transport you to another locale or electronically open a document on any computer in any country. Enter the inventive and magical Adobe world that Charles Geschke and John Warnock have created for us. We started a project called Interpress, and we worked two years to define this language. We were trying to get laser printers to do the right thing in a device-independent way. We went to Xerox management and toured the country and showed this to all of the various divisions at Xerox. They said, oh, this is great. And we said, good, can we publish this and get it out in the world? And they said, no, we will keep it secret until all the printers can do it. Are there any questions? I was as frustrated as John. I was starting to look at my career and thinking, God, I'm going to become old and gray, doing really innovative and fun things, but they may never get out into the world. And so only I will know about them. And that's not what an engineer lives for. The kind of documents that such a system can produce are quite varied. So the creative team of Warnock and Geschke moved on to create a new company. Named after the creek behind Geschke's house, Adobe transformed the visual world. It was so funny. When we did early investor meetings, they asked us how big the market was for this printing protocol. And we looked at each other in puzzlement because we had no idea because the market didn't exist. At the same time, Geschke and Warnock met another young computer guru with another new company. He suggested that they adopt their printing protocols for his new laser writer. The young man was Steve Jobs, the company, Apple. Interpress would morph into PostScript and desktop publishing catapulted into the workplace. One of the things about our company is that we have always invented our way into new products and new solutions. We never wanted to be in second place. And then in 1994, the internet went through an incredible explosion. That was one of those instances, much like PostScript, where you say, well, what's the market for this? And there was no identifiable market. Geschke and Warnock envisioned that people soon would want to send documents electronically, because now with the internet, they could. Even though we may not be the same height or the same build or our faces aren't identical, there are a large number of people who periodically confuse us. We both are roughly the same age. We both have three children. We both had a mathematics background, and we hit it off instantly. I suppose there are people who can do things by themselves, but I think having a strong sounding board and partnership and friendship really is important. <laughs> if we both look at our lives, if we don't wake up in the morning and say, how the heck did this happen, we're probably no longer conscious. <laughs>